Alright y'all, we are jumping right into today's video. It is going to be a get ready with me voiceover style. There's a lot of things I want to try and show y'all. So yeah, so I'm using the Jackie Aina ABH palette and my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow base. Starting off with the eyes, I am part of the eyes before foundation gang gang we are out here so yeah just prepping the eyes for the eyeshadow looking a little crazy now i'm going into that shade right there um i am going to put the shades i'm using on the screen because i don't have the palette in front of me right now but i'm using that brown shade uh that is going to serve as my transition shade and i'm just packing that along the crease and bringing that down to my um nose i like to do this because it kind of serves as more of a natural nose contour i don't really like to contour my nose but when i do my eyeshadow like this and then when i put my foundation on everything it just comes together very easily so going ahead and do that do, going ahead and doing that then i'm going in with another deeper brown shade right there to add to the outer corner and just deepen up that crease color um, I know that I probably should have brought y'all closer for the eye portion of this video, but apologies if you feel like you can't see. Next time I do an eye tutorial, I will bring y'all right up in there. So yeah, just adding that brown to the outer corner. Next, I'm going in with the pinker. I can read it from here. And I'm just gonna, I wanted to add some color to this look. I didn't want it to be just a plain, you know, brown and gold look. So pinker, I'm using that to deepen up the crease. It's actually blending out a little bit more like, um, like a purple, like a pink purple, like a fuchsia. So that is what I'm doing there. And just using that to deepen up the crease and making sure that there are no harsh lines and things look blended. By the way, I'm not, I haven't said what brushes I'm using. That is a Morphe brush. The other brush I believe was from Dose of Colors. Um, if it appears on the screen, I'll let y'all know. Um, next I'm using that purple to again, I just was trying to create kind of a brown purple look or I don't know what I was trying to do actually. I think I was just, this is just play time. I just really wanted to use this palette and support Jackie. If y'all didn't know, Jackie Ina, if you've been living under a rock, <laughs> Jackie Ina collaborated with Anastasia Beverly Hills to create this palette. And all of the shades are uh, dark beauty, beauty lover friendly. So anyone who has a deeper skin tone can enjoy every single eyeshadow um, shade. So I really wanted to support her and support what she's trying to do with this palette. Cause I feel like so often we get palettes as darker skinned people um, where we can't use half the shades. So anyways, wanted to support that and wanted to support her as a creator and someone that's collaborating with a huge, huge brand. So anyways, like I was saying, I was really just playing around at this point. I decided to cut the crease. I'm going back with um, the Makeup Revolution base. I'm using this um, cut crease. It's called a cut... Ugh. Can I talk? It's called a cut crease brush from... It's a brand. It's an Italian brand called Nabla Cosmetics. Honestly, I couldn't do a cut crease to save my life until I got this brush. Like, I don't know, know what their shipping fees are, but if you want to learn how to do a cut crease, get this brush. It makes it so easy. Um, okay, so I'm using that green shade and um, Zan. I know that shade name. I'm mixing the two together and adding that kind of in the center, but more towards the outer um, corner. I don't know. Sometimes when I put glitter too close to my eyes, they water and it's just a mess. So I'm actually going to keep the inner corner kind of more matte and just add this glitter to kind of the center and the outer portion of the eye. So I'm just going ahead and mixing those two colors to get kind of like a greenish gold. And I um, lowered the brightness down so you guys can kind of see that really pop and see what that looks like. But that's kind of like, it looks like money, really. <laughs> that is what the glitter shade is looking like. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, at this point, I was liking the way the look was turning out. The cut crease actually looked like a real cut crease and the glitter was popping, the shimmers were shimmering. So honestly, if you have any doubts about this palette, definitely, I mean, get it. The the all the, ugh, oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. All the shadows work together beautifully. They blend beautifully. They apply beautifully. Quality is A1. So 
yeah, I was definitely feeling this look is a little bit different for me, but I definitely liked the color combination. I wanted to just take it even a step further, so I decided to go in with this purple liner. It's a Hydra liner from um, Suba, I think how you say it, Suba Beauty. Um, if you don't know their Hydra liners, basically you just add water and um, it's like a mix, it's almost like the water acts as a mixing medium and that's how you get the pigment to come up. So I'm just creating a winged liner with that uh, liner there and just taking my time to create this wing. I'm not sure where that brush is. I'm sorry, I don't know where I just pick up any brush that's kind of around. Well, I have my brushes, my go-to brushes, but I don't really pay attention to where they're from. So my apologies for not having that information on hand, but I think it's also might be a Morphe brush. It looks like Morphe brush because it's black, but can't be 100% certain. So created that wing and yeah I'm ready to apply the lashes I'm liking the way it looks so these lashes are the 3d lashes uh, from IMV and they're super cheap and I love them I'm applying after I've applied them I'm now applying my hydro primer if y'all don't know this is the only primer that I feel like works for my skin type I have combination oily skin um, I'm going in with the Pat McGrath foundation. Now, I don't have the bougie bottle because I'm cheap and I got the sample. <laughs> um, so I'm applying it, but then I forgot I wanted to try this tinted, um, what's this called, color corrector. So I just kind of applied it and I'm just going to mix everything together. But I just really wanted to try out the um, color corrector. If you don't know the owner, Deepika, she is kind of a maven, a trailblazer in the beauty community. And this is her first product from her brand, Live Tinted. So I just really wanted to try it out and support her as well. So I, I put it under the Pat McGrath foundation. And if I didn't say my shade name, I'm wearing the shade Deep 32, I believe. If anything is, I'm gonna put all the information down below of what I use, but, and that foundation breadth is definitely from Morphe. So if you don't know, I like to take my foundation a little bit darker than my skin tone because now I'm gonna do use a super light concealer, not super light, but brightening. This is the new Insta Bake Concealer from Beauty Bakery. I'm using the shade 004. I know it has a name. Again, will be in the description bar below. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going ahead and using that. I'm using this as a dose of colors. I really, really, really like the dose of color sponges. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just, I don't know, they don't, they don't um, absorb any product. They blend really well. So I really like them for, for complexion. So yeah, this is actually a little bit lighter as I'm blending it out, I'm realizing it's a little bit lighter than I would normally go, but it's okay because I went darker with my foundation. So it'll all even itself out. Um, and so far, I uh, from both the foundation and the concealer, I like both the consistencies. They're both supposed to be kind of your skin but better products. I do wish that the concealer, I probably should have picked a little bit of a deeper shade, but I'm just going ahead with my cashew powder from Fenty to set that in. Um, but yeah, I wish it was just a touch warmer. It's a little bit neutral, a little bit light, but I'm gonna make it work. So I'm just kind of carving out a little bit of a place to contour or slash bronze with with that cashew powder from Fenty. That's not new, but everything else so far I've used today is new. So this is another new product from the lip bar. They had these new blush bronzer duos. Um, I think this one is called First Date. Again, my bad if it's not. I'm gonna put the name in the description, but yeah. So I'm using the contour or bronze rather um, side of it. There's a blush in there too, but I wanted to go ahead and use the bronze one. Again, I don't like to contour, but putting a little bit, I think I put a little bit too much, but <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Um, putting a little bit of bronzer or contour like right where the nose connects to the brows kind of just fakes uh, contour. Um, anyway, so I'm going ahead, ahead with another new bronzer product. This is from Mented. They have a collaboration with Ashley Blaine and um, they have a highlighter and a bronzer in one. So I'm going to go ahead and use the highlighter side to highlight my face. I believe this is the shade Season 1. They have Season 1 and Season 2. So I'm using the Season 1 highlighter. I think for the bronzer though, I prefer Season 2. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that in with my sponge. 
and I mean everything came together even though I was a little bit unsure about the shade of highlighter it still looks good with everything considered so now I'm gonna go ahead with this lipstick I got new lipstick from NARS I just received a bunch of them and I found some favorites this one I think is called dominatrix and it's like a very deep kind of neutral I would say actually neutral yeah no something more on the reddish side um, brown and then I'm going to use the uh, shade Tonka in the middle to kind of create a little bit of dimension um, and as I'm trying it out I'm trying to put more on because I want it to be a little bit lighter to get that dimension but yeah and uh, I decided at the last minute to apply gloss this one is from Ofra and again we'll have the name of this gloss down below in the description bar below um, but yeah, just gonna apply that gloss to finish up the look and yeah That is the end of this quick little get ready with me. Also after watching this video back a few times I realized that like 80% of the products I use are like either black owned or like affiliated with someone in black beauty so I feel like that's super dope um, that there are so many brands that it's like I can do almost a full get ready with me and support a lot of black women black creators without even thinking about it so anyways thought that was cool i hope you enjoyed this quick quick get ready with me um and yeah thanks so much for watching and hanging out i will see you in the next video